Yay, everybody. <laughs> hello, hello. How is everybody today? It's Friday. Yay. Happy TDIF. <laughs> yeah, thank you, dog. It's Friday. It's our favorite day of the week. We know it's your favorite too. Come on, admit it. <laughs> We're super excited to be with you today. Hi. How is everybody doing? Um, you made it through another week and we're gonna have some fun to celebrate. Um, hi everybody. Uh, if you don't know who we are, I'm Patty Quinn of We Heart Hounds and I'm here with the wonderfully talented, adorable and just overall wonderful person, Hillary Buholtz. Hey everybody. <laughs> I could go on and on. I couldn't I couldn't hold, stop myself. Um, she is pretty fantastic, um, by the way. Um, we are gonna make a really fun uh, DIY project today. Uh, we do this every Friday. Uh, crafts, recipes, all in the love of an honor of our dogs. Um, so invite the family, tell the neighbors, share it with your friends, um, let everybody know this one's going to be a really fun project. Super, super excited. It is going to be, we're calling it a dog lover's beach backpack. So this is really super fun, super easy, only takes like two or three supplies to put yep. it together. Like this yep. is a, a no-sew project, our favorite kind <laughs> where you don't even have to get out needle and thread if you don't want. So um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing you're gonna need are some kitchen towels. And we have just the cutest, are, this, are these not the cutest fabric <laughs> of kitchen towels? And it's just a terry cloth. So it's nice and fluffy on the inside. Um, and you're just going to need two of those. Um, get a dog theme print, of course. Uh, uh, that's what we would prefer. Um, and then you can always, if you find, it, sometimes kitchen towels come in sets where they're not, they're matching, but they're not exactly the same. That's totally fine. So if you have two towels that have kind of a similar color or similar pattern or whatever, you can do that as well. Yep. Um, and so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your towel kind of lay it out flat and then you're going to bring up the bottom portion we're making some inside pockets for our backpack um, and you're going to bring up that bottom uh, fold about six and a half inches from the from the bottom and so these and are that nice may vary a little deep. bit depending yeah. on the size of your towel so you can kind of visually you're gonna you're gonna kind of figure out how tall you want your backpack so that'll yeah. depend that'll make the decision on how deep those pockets will be on the yeah. inside yeah and you can uh again they can be uh shorter you can, they can be deeper just kind of whatever mm -hmm. whatever you like to do then we're going to take some stitch witchery uh, or adhesive fabric tape and i'm going to move this over a little bit so you can see and then you're just going to take a piece of that and tuck it in let's see Make sure I have the right length and I can just tear mine off. You can, some you have to cut. So I've got my stitch witchery right along this edge here and I'm gonna fuse these two pieces of fabric together. Uh, and then I'm gonna also do it uh, the same on the other side. Okay, I have a leaky iron today. So oh, no. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna pretend. It's, yep. it's warm enough, but it's not warm enough. So uh, you're just gonna iron that side we're going to do the same with the other side and take your fusible tape put a strip there and iron that flat and then you end up having one huge pocket and then which is fine but to make it a little more practical uh you kind of want to divide this into smaller mm -hmm. pockets you can have three or four pockets if you put two pieces of tape some of this fusible tape and you tuck that in kind of as a vertical line right there yep and iron that, and then you do another one here, or you could do two more, you know, make different size pockets. If you want a pocket for your sunglasses or for suntan lotion or doggy treats or whatever you're taking <laughs> to the beach, <laughs> um, you know, just kind of think about how you might want to use the bag um, and do that. And then once you've got that all ironed up and you've got your pockets done on the, on the bottom, I'm gonna pull this up a little bit. Actually, let me do this. I'm gonna turn this around. So now I've got the top of my kitchen towel that I'm is closest to me. And then I'm gonna fold this down about two inches yep. and measure that all the way along. And then basically what you're gonna wanna do is iron this flat, 
to give it a nice crease. I, you can do the same when you when you bring up the the larger pocket um, and give it a nice crease before you're fusing everything together. But iron it flat. I think this one's a little more important just because of the fold is so small. Yeah. Um, iron it flat, and then you're going to tuck right at this edge, right at the end of the towel. You're going to tuck fusible tape right along this very edge. So you're not gonna want it to get inside your little pocket here, your, your hem. You're gonna want it right along the edge there. And use probably, a we use like two, a double yes. layer of the fusible yep. tape. Just, Just to make it that, that a little bit more uh, secure and it's a little bit thick, thicker fabric because you're right on that hem mm -hmm. on that edge. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it, I think it makes sense to use just a couple layers of that fusible tape, which is real thin. So it's pretty easy to just layer right. them on top of each other and then iron it down. Well, this is where your handle's going to go. So it's going to get a lot of use and abuse. Yep. And so I think that double layer also helps keep these fused really well together. And you're going to want to make sure that this opening, that you leave an opening here on the end, so you're making a tube, right? Yep. So just the edge is secured, just the edge is secured. And then, you know, you should be able to stick your fingers in on both ends. There should be openings. You don't want to fuse, fuse those because we're going to stick uh, the handles through, through that edge. Yep. And then the next thing you're going to do, uh, oh, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to cut off the extra corners. So on the, the corners of the, your have you have four corners of your towel, just snip off just that extra little bit of bulk, just like that, just a little corner there. Um, obviously this is gonna be ironed down and fused when you're doing this, yeah. but cut off those little, little four corners because you're going to do the same thing the same exact thing with your other towel. You're gonna to make the bottom pockets. You're gonna make a top little hem with openings on the side. You're gonna cut those four little corners off. And then on one of your towels, your second towel, I'm gonna to turn this back around, pretend it's all fused together and ironed up nice and neat. And then you're gonna take, what did I do with it? All right. It was, <laughs> I had a leaking <laughs> iron and it leaked everywhere. I had water everywhere. So I had a spool of, of ribbon, but I'll just show you on my other one. So then you're going to take, this is the bottom pocket. And you're going to take a little piece of ribbon. I've got some with little paw prints on it. And you're going to fold it in half. It's going to be about four inches. You're going to fold it in half. So it's about two and a half or uh, two inches to one and a half inches. You're going to have a little loop hang off the edge here right and that you're going to also be using for your handle see hillary's got hers as well let me show this right side up so i've got my fused top here with the, the holes in the middle i've got my little four corners cut off here's my bottom pockets see that little pocket there little pocket there and then you can see on both ends you've got these little tabs right down at the bottom, just down there at the bottom of the, of the bag. All right, so on one of them, you've got the tabs. The rest of the two towels are exactly the same yeah. as, as this. All right. And so now then, Hillary yeah. will get to put it all together. <laughs> so then after, after you have your two towels and you just really what you're hoping to do is make sure that they're the same size. So, you know, as you're creating your pockets and things like that, just make sure that the, you know, the whole vertical length, you don't have one of them that's longer or anything like that. Right. You're really trying to just make sure that the sizes are the same. So yeah. that's, you know, kind of line them up next to each other, make sure everything's going to line up and then fuse that second half. And then we're just going to sandwich these two together. And how we're going to do that is just yeah. along the sides just, and the bottom. Yep. Yep. Is just using some fabric fusion or fu mm -hmm. uh, fabric glue. Mm -hmm. And you're going to need, you're going to use it pretty liberally because this terry cloth is pretty thick. So yeah. what you'll do, I start on the bottom and get that all lined up perfectly. And so I just, lined up my bottom those two bottom pockets started there and just added a pretty liberal amount in a kind of a zigzag pattern across mm -hmm. the bottom 
and then glued it down. And you're just trying to make sure you want to use enough glue, but you also don't want it spilling out all over the place. So right. you're just kind of being careful, making it as clean as possible. And then once you start working on the sides, you're going to go up right to the edge where right you get to that hem. Yeah. Yep where your little hem is. So, mm -hmm. and you can even glue just like where you cut that little corner off, you mm -hmm. can glue right up to that point and then make sure that you're leaving your loops open because that's yep. where we're going to start. So do the three sides. So each left, right, and bottom, mm -hmm. and then leave that top open because obviously we want to be able to put stuff in our back. <laughs> And a big bag with big pockets on the inside. That's so cool. So um, with the fabric fabric glue, you're going to want to let it, give it time, mm -hmm. let it dry. We're talking hours, not minutes. So really at this point, this is when you can kind of walk away, do other things, and then come back to it once you know it's completely dried and secured. Because yeah. although it gets tacky pretty quickly, don't get ambitious because you will pull it apart. Like it's, yeah. it isn't, it isn't secured yet. So I would definitely say, you know, give it, give it some time to dry. And Ren Renee says we're very creative and we find fun things. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we love this print too. It's this adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got, I got these at, um, uh, home TJ Max, I think. Yeah, oh, okay. TJ Max or home goods. It was one of those. And oh my gosh, like this, where is it? This little guy looks like Ginger to me. This little cutie pie. And there's there's Leon right there. <laughs> but yeah, you can find these at TJ Maxx, Kohl's. Uh, Walmart has kitchen towels, uh, you know, just wherever. And obviously you can find them on Amazon and other places yep. too. But just, the, just find a fun dog print. And this one, yeah, Renee was absolutely... <laughs> irresistible um, we bought these towels without knowing what we were going to make with them so <laughs> that's how much we love them we're like okay one of these days we'll figure out what to do <laughs> we'll figure something out to do with them <laughs> so then the next thing after you've let your your whole bag dry and everything's secure we're going to loop through um our cords that'll actually make our backpack handles and i'm just using some cotton cord that i kind of um salvaged out of a different project so that, <laughs> that's the one that i have mine is probably about 65 inches and um that means that it won't lay absolutely flat when when it's open um yeah. you, you can go like 72 inches if you wanted to to try to make sure that it, it would lay flat or if you have if you're making this for a kid you can go smaller so that those mm -hmm. those handles aren't so long so yeah. And you can adjust them like once you have it through, you can adjust them at the end. If you find that they are too long, you're just going to tie them, tie a knot a little bit um, more shallow and cut off the edges that you don't need. But before we get to that, I'm going to take a safety pin and just pop it into one end of my cotton cord here. Yep. Oh, and you can find, um, I obviously was using a different project that, that I found this in, but um, if you don't have a project that you, that you could um, pull it out of, you could also get a uh, clothesline, like mm -hmm. the cotton kind, not necessarily the super plasticky nylon kinds, just something that's going to feel, yeah. you know, that you're going to want to feel. And just you want them pretty thick. So. Yeah. Yours, I think, is better, and it's probably softer. This is, isn't too bad, um, but I think this will work for just for a quick throw, you know, beach bag. Uh, I think it would be fine. If, it, if, we, if I was wearing this for a long time, I might want to wrap something around it or whatever, uh, some terry cloth or something for shoulders. So then we have our loops at the front. I've done one side, so I looped it through from one side and then went all the way around and came out the other end. Now I'm doing the opposite side. So I'm gonna, here's the one that has yep. some strings already. Now I'm doing the opposite side and I'm just gonna work this through, so. So you basically go through the front hem and the on the towel that's in front of you 
And then as you're working your way around, you're gonna exit that towel and come in the hole on the back side. Um, and if you don't have a, a safety pin, um, they make some really large um, like knitting needles or yarn needles that you could use that you could thread it through. Depends on what the thickness of the cord that you have and um, what you have laying around. You could also make a so, knot in, at the end of your- yeah. Or even just pin. some painter's tape, something that's kind of hard yeah. that you can continue to feel that that right. help you kind of move it yeah, through. Yeah, that's the a great safety, idea. The safety pin works pretty well. Um, and if you have a uh, yarn that's frays pretty easily, you can add Mine just does. a little bit of painter's <laughs> tape. <laughs> so for years, I would say add just a little bit of painter's tape on the end and then put yeah. your safety pin through and you just take it off at the end and kind of right. trim that up. So now I'm through one side and I'm going to pop it into so i'm out this loop mm -hmm. now i'm gonna pop it into this loop and work it back around the other okay the other side yeah this is really the trickiest part and it's really not that tricky at all this is such a quick and easy bag to put together i really love it and it's definitely for older you know if you feel comfortable with your kids using the iron mm -hmm. it's no so so it definitely mm -hmm. It's an easy one for the kids to do as well. Yeah, yeah. Especially when your iron's working <laughs> like it's supposed to. I have a pool of water sitting next to me. <laughs> ah, I think it's, oh yeah, it's warming up now. It's warming up now. All, All right, so now I am, I am through the other end. So here's my safety pin and here's that other end. Okay. And what we're going to do, I'm going to try to get them just a smidge more even. It doesn't have to be perfect. But now um, we're going to go through this little tab and that's what's going to make our backpack. So we have to have something on the bottom to ho hold our little handles together. So you're going to take one side and pop it through your little ribbon. And then take my safety pin out. And then all I'm doing is just tying a simple knot. There you go. Secure. Oh, maybe. How cute. So there. That's great. That side. And there's my other side. Okay. And then it'll. Yay! Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> How fun is that? Oh, that is just adorable. I can't wait to finish mine. This is going to be so much fun. Everybody knows what I'm going to be doing today. <laughs> and then on your inside. Oh, yeah. Let's see Look at all the pockets. I love that. So yeah, you can put a water bottle, you can get inside. doggy treats, you can put your dog Frisbee in there, you can yep. put your sunglasses and your phone and keys and lotion yeah, and whatever else you want to take to the beach. It's, it's awesome. a nice size for a little beach bag for sure. It's yeah, a, it's a yeah. Good, it's not too huge, but you could definitely add most of your little beach gear. In I there. love it. I love it. And oh, I love the dog inspired theme and all of it. You know, uh, it's really so cool. And they make the cutest kitchen towels now. Um, I can't remember. Let me see if I can grab. Oh, they, I mean, some of these towels would be just so fun. Like we've got this set here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that would be so cute to make a bag out of, you know, and then here's yep. the back little wolf. <laughs> so, I mean, you could just grab whatever kitchen towels you have. They have a, a wonderful dog theme. Um, and as Georgie says, they, they turn out really cool. <laughs> They're really cool. <laughs> Thank you, Georgie. Yeah, these are fantastic. These are a lot of fun. I really yeah. enjoy them. They are super fun. They're super easy. You can definitely do this and you can use like alternate, as Patty mentioned, alternating prints back and forth like yeah the sky's the limit here so yeah exactly and they and they don't even have to matchy match right you could yep. like this print you could put with like a solid blue or a you know pink color or anything on the other side so 
they could be, you know, it, it just a lot of fun to play yeah. with the color and, and, uh, and really whatever you come across, uh, whatever, whatever sparks your interest and in your fancy. Um, and then you could be sporting it along the beach wearing your flip flops <laughs> with your pup at your side. Um, that's really the, the whole part of this is just getting you out and about hanging out with your pups and having a good summer while we've still got nice, warm, sunny days yeah. to enjoy. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed today's craft. Yeah. This was so much fun. I just loved it. It turned out so cool. And I'm so glad we found something fun to use with this print. I just, yeah. it's, it's, it was so sad keeping it tucked away. We've had these for a little while and it was so sad keeping them tucked away. Um, it's fun to bring them out and actually have something fun to, to wear and, and use them with. So this is yeah. great. Thanks, everybody. Hope this inspired you for the weekend. Go out yeah. and get your kitchen towels, get some clothesline and some stitch witchery, and you're good to go. <laughs> and we would love to see how they turn out. So please share your yeah. pictures with us if you end up making some, because these are just, they're so cute exactly. <laughs> and super easy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. If anybody's interested in any of our shirts or tote bags or coffee mugs or anything like that, there's a link to our store. Um, otherwise, we will be happy to see you. Bring your friends and family next Friday. Uh, same time, same bat channel. And uh, <laughs> we'll just have another fun doggy craft for everybody to do. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. Bye -bye. Hope you get some sandy toeses and sandy noses.